Floss Tube, it's Sarah with our Stitching Kingdom. I'm here to do the Stitchy Box Spring Small Box or Spring Box Unboxing. So I love these boxes. Liz at um, Stitchy Box is amazing. She's a one woman show. Um, she collects, all, curates these fabulous little things and it's super fun. There's patterns, there's fabric, there's a whole bunch of fun things um, to see. So I've got this one, I've got a mermaid's box coming, I've got her birthday bash box coming, a dragon's box, and a silk one. And then that's going to be my it for for stitchy boxes because I've got a lot of stuff and I need to uh, to use it. So the way it comes is it's always in these fun little boxes like this and she puts pretty tissue paper. The only thing I've done is put it in order so that it makes opening easier. So. They're all packaged by themselves in these cute little containers, or the patterns are usually in these manila folders. Um, it has these cute little, um, oh, focus here. It has these cute little flowers on it. So, and each box is um, put together by Liz and her, her crew. Oh, sorry, there's an earthquake. So let's get into it. If you don't like spoilers, turn it off now. I'm giving you, here's day one. I'm giving you a couple minutes, turn it off if you don't want to be spoiled. Okay, we're going in. Okay, day one. Ooh. That is pretty, and it is not, it's Threadworks, and it's zero, I think that's a four, one, one, two. So, welcome to our spring time countdown box. First up is this fun colorway from Threadworks, and it's very springy, yellows and greens and peaches, and very pretty. Day number two. beads. There's, I have a lot of beads, which is really nice. It's really pretty delicate. Spring green. Day two, delicate seed beads. Nothing says spring like a fabulous pale green. Day number three. Let's just make it a little easier. Cute! It's a hummingbird bee a hummingbird charm, and I'm gonna lose my battery. Silly thing. It says day three hummingbird charm. A happy little hummingbird to decorate your stitching. So I might have to put this into two because I think I'm gonna lose my battery, but we'll go as far as we can. Flights of Fancy Needle Minder, and this is her new venture. Those look, that looks like Wedgwood. That is gorgeous. It's not, but it's carved resin. So pretty. This is Cameo Needle Minder, a springy needle minder to keep your needle safe. That is gorgeous. Day five. Maybe not. Pretty Gentle Art Limited Edition. That is a pretty color. Kind of a, a taupey purple. It says, Gentle Arts Cotton. Stitch up some fabulous spring flowers with a Stitchy Box exclusive colorway from Gentle Arts. Day six. Ooh, pretty. Put this in my little bowl. Yep. Oh, that's gorgeous. A little teardrop. 
Oh, it's even... Look, look at Peacock Feather. It says, Lampwork Glass Drop. This hand, handmade glass lampwork glass drop, or use this handmade lampwork glass drop as a focal in your stitching or as part of a scissor fob. And I have a lot of these. Like, I could make a lot of scissor fobs. It would be fun. Day seven. More beads. Scissors are there, so they're not. These are pretty purple. Mastuno seed beads. These lilac beads would make excellent tiny flower accents in a springy project. Okay. Right. Day number eight. Feels like fabric. Could be finishing fabric. Could be sewing fabric. Ooh, that's pretty. It is 32 count. Whisper, Blue Whisper Vintage, a sky-colored linen backdrop on your fabulous spring projects. I like the modeling in that. That's really pretty. Very fun. Keep that with it. Day number nine. All oh, these are cute. Alice might steal these from me. Mother of Pearl Flowers. Mother of Pearl always suggests spring to me with, with its subtle shimmer. Those are really pretty. Day 10. They're so fun. I love these boxes. They're like, you don't know what you're going to get. I mean, you know kind of, you know, what kind of things, but you don't exactly know what. Ooh, those are pretty. Swarovski Rosaline Pearls. These tiny pearls will look right at home on the neck of a stitched springtime lady or as the center of some stitched flowers. Yeah, that would be a really pretty idea for a necklace. Day 11. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. And this is called Alpha by Cottage Garden Sampling, or Garden Cottage Garden Threads. Those are pretty. I like the color. It says, Cottage Garden Thread. CGT has fabulous selection of colorways, including this springy color. That gray is really fun. Pretty trim. Oh, it's got little birdies on it and hearts. That's pretty. Woven ribbon for finishing. These fabulous little birds will help you finish your springy smalls. Woven on traditional shuttle looms in Germany. Oh, there's little mushrooms too. Ah, love it. So cute. Day 13. These are really pretty. Rainbow Morning Sky is what it's called. Those are gorgeous. Delicate seed beads. Shimmery beads, the color of a gorgeous spring morning sky. I like that. Day 14. I have some of this. I love this fabric. It's so cute. Quilt fabric for finishing. Some fabulous butterflies to help you finish your springtime smalls. I think I actually got my first fabric um, like that in my first stitchy box I got about a year ago. So this is day 15. It's a pattern. I'm going to kind of be careful in opening it so I don't show you the wrong side. <gasps> I'm glad I didn't buy these at market. <laughs> Yay! I was going to get these. Okay. Bunny Trio Chart. A set of Fun set of bunnies to stitch up and personalize. So, this is a Lindy Stitches chart. So cute. Love these bunnies. Love these guys right here. 
Yay! Okay. Day 16. Feels like it's a finishing item of some type. Yay! I have a I have one of these from the previous box. It's really cool. It's just a nice metal metal tin. I can get it open. Oh, because I'm opening the wrong way. So you can do a little small and tuck it in there. Silver trinket box. A little box to keep your special stitching tools safe. Add a bit of stitching or quilt fabric to the top for some fabulous decoration. Okay, day 17. Ooh, I don't have any of this. This is the DMC... Is it Corlores? No. Just variegated. This a springy variegation you can use on any project without worrying about it color bleed. DMC's variegated floss is completely color fast. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> Thought I silenced my phone. So it's 4050 is the color number. My phone has disappeared. Where is it so I can silence you? Where's your phone? Okay, day 18. Ooh, those are pretty. They are Swarovski Cubist Focal, a pair of peridot crystals that would make a great addition to scissor fob or fancy up a bit of cording. Those are really pretty. They look like leaves. Day 19. Oh, oh, that's pretty. I might make that into a just a necklace for Alice or Izzy. It says, Swarovski Crystal Flower Charm. Fabulous little crystal flower to decorate your stitching or finishing. That's really pretty. Okay. Ooh, those are pretty. They're translucent, but they are kind of holographic. It's a rainbow clear. Go with the rainbow blue. It says, just a hint of rainbow to give your product some fabulous shimmer. Those are really pretty. I have ideas for those. Those would be pretty snowflakes. Day 21. Ooh, that's pretty. The ocean. Silk House of Embroidery Silk Thread. Some yummy, shimmery silk for your springy projects. Ooh, it feels so good, too. Love silk. And this is a good way to incur it to add to your stash while not spending a ton. The grab bags are good, too. Um, oh, cute. This is a day. Oh, it's a little, it's a little clip, a little pin. says butterfly brooch pin springy base to add beads or a long bit of stitching for a fabulous accessory that would be really pretty day 23 almost done ooh those are pretty check 2 millimeter faceted rounds in a clear AB Fire polished crystals, some fabulous little two millimeter bling for your stitching and finishing. Those are pretty. Twenty-four fabric. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's pretty green. Green sapphire, 28 count green sapphire linen. A nice pale grass green to serve as the base for your springy projects. These are good sizes for biscornus. Okay, we're in the home stretch. It's day 25. Wait. Oh, it's a bird. It's adorable. A little brass. Oh, it's heavy. Brass colored bird charm. You, happy three dimensional bird charm for your use in finishing or part of a scissor fob. He's cute. He's really heavy too. 26. Oh, pretty lace. Crochet laced edging, a little bit of lacy goodness to help finish your projects. That's really pretty. Nice and simple. 27. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, it looks like it is pearl number five in tea and biscuits. I've not worked with their pearl before. That's really pretty. And chocolate color works. Day 28. I like the color. Nice and very good spring. Oh, some fun spring cording. Satin cord for finishing. The spring flowers cording can help you with your finishing or creating small dangly bits and ties for your smalls. Super pretty. Day 29. Ooh, felt. That's really pretty. A wool felt, 29. This green felt makes an excellent small backer or a base to embroider some fun spring flowers. That's pretty. And day 30. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. And this is a stitchy box design. Spring Path Mandala. No, oh, and it's made by Stitchy Box Samplers. Um, it's just a one color thing, and it says, I hope you have enjoyed our springtime countdown box. This springy mandala design can be stitched with any of the goodies in this box. I'm going to just put it. Well, maybe not and be personalized in place with your initials. The center can be also be replaced with a button or vocal. Happy stitching. So, super fun, loved it. So instead of right here, you can put your initials. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them, in, leave them down and below. I'll link um, Stitchy Box down in the comment box. Um, this was fun, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will talk to you later. Bye.